We had a great viewer question come in that I wanted to answer, and their question was on an automotive circuit, and we have a computer-controlled relay. So this is our little relay in our diagram here. It's ground side switch, so the computer down the line on this yellow will simply connect this to ground, and that will take our 12 volts from our battery that's always present, and it will energize this coil and swing this little guy over to terminal 87, and that will provide a path for our 12 volts to energize everything else here. So their question was, if I'm in a scenario like this and I want to manually control this relay, as well as, you know, the computer still has free reign of it, could I do something like that? And the answer is yes. And what you could do is you could just add your own little ground switch here. The issue that you run into in a scenario like this is your feedback. You know, we can see here, okay, this is our main power supply to the ECU, but there's also a secondary power supply to the ECU provided by this relay, as well as all these other components that will get power through this relay. If things are getting power and getting information is being sent to the computer that it's not expecting, the computer's gonna probably really freak out. So if you're manually bypassing a computer controlled relay, it's important to consider all of the variables involved and not what just the one thing that you wanna turn on, but everything else that, that can be affected by that circuit and what the engine computer is expecting as far as feedback and information is concerned. So I hope that makes sense and I hope that helps.